Good morning everyone, it's Jo here from Mommy Needs Wine. Welcome to our very very first weekend vlog and possibly even our very first vlog on the Mommy Needs Wine YouTube channel. If you haven't found us already, Mommy Needs Wine is my new parenting lifestyle and travel blog and vlog. Yeah. And uh, you may know me as Jo from Jo's Kitchen which is a food blog, I will link up to Jo's Kitchen at the top. Uh, this is Daniel. And just running into doing us now is Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> Cause say so this weekend is a. Uh, I've obviously got a power. Is a. Uh, I've decided to tell you what we do over a weekend, but this isn't a normal weekend, weekend cause uh, tomorrow we're having Daniel's birthday party. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and how old is Daniel going to be at his birthday? Three. I was asking Daniel. <laughs> how old are you going to be, Daniel? Three. Three. There we go. So, and this morning Thomas and I are going to go off and do a charity boot camp, which is with a company called Pincher Fitness. Yes! Um, we um, raising money for the Devon Midlands Air Ambulance. Yes, we're raising money for the Midlands Air Ambulance and Mary Stevens Hospice. So, I mean, it is my normal Saturday morning exercise anyway, but this is a special charity one. So, we're going to go and do that. So, Harry. we're going to get dressed now and then take Daniel to my nan's. Harry. And, and not and me. And, get ready. And, this, uh, and this afternoon we're going to the pub. Yes, this afternoon we are going to the pub and then tonight I've got to finish decorating Daniel's birthday cake. Yeah, and on Sunday we're going to celebrate Daniel's birthday. Yes. But so, his real birthday is today. No, it's next Wednesday. Oh, why? His real birthday is on next Wednesday, but... Daniel, but Daddy is dolphin. He'll so. have his own vlog soon, I'm sure he will. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. <laughs> everyone, we've just done our charity boot camp for the Midlands Air Ambulance and Mary Stevens Hospice. I know, I'm tired. And we're both very tired but we've had lots of fun. We're covered in mud and we're very wet but we've had lots of fun. And they think that they've raised about £400 which is brilliant. So, well and done to Pincher Fitness and I will and try and I think to they've raised £10,000. I don't think they've raised that much but it's nice to be optimistic. So we're going to get our wet stuff off now and then go home and pick up Daniel. So, we'll see you again in a bit. Yes! And then we get to go to the pub and have a well-earned beer, or at least Mummy does. Well, I want the day to the resident round. Resident round. A piece of chips and beer. <laughs> well, you can't have McDonald's then. Right. No McDonald's. No McDonald's. Okay, so I'm back from boot camp now. I've freshened myself up a bit. And uh, I'm just actually starting before we go out and get to the pub and have some lunch because Thomas has requested if you saw in the last little video to go to the Rose and Crow which is our local pub which does nice home cooked food and I'm too tired to argue with him to be quite honest. So I'm just going to start some prep for Daniel's birthday party tomorrow. Now we're not having a big party, it's just grandparents and stuff. So but what we always do at these kind of parties is we have roast pork and roast gammon sandwiches. Although this time I'm doing a glazed gammon. So, but how I actually cook my gammon is I actually do it in a slow cooker. So I'm just going to turn you around the other way so you can see. So, bear with me two seconds. There are millions of recipes for gammon in the slow cooker. So this is just a 1.3 kilogram joint of gammon, just from the supermarket. And there's, you can boil it in coke, you can boil it in apple juice, you can put it in cider, you can do what you like with it. But all I actually do with mine is I actually just put it in the pot on its own. And over the four hours it cooks, it actually makes its own juices. Then tonight when I get back from having a few beers and before I decorate Daniel's cake, which is sat over there, before I finish decorating it off, then I'm going to glaze it in char siu style, so like Chinese barbecue style, so I'll show you how to do that later. So I'm just going to put the slow cooker on now and then uh, get ready to go out. I don't know. Hello everyone, so we're at the pub. We've just had our main course. Now we're going to have some pudding now. 
The boys are going to have some strawberry ice cream. I'm going to have chocolate fish cake. They had pizza chips and beans. And uh, I've had American chips. So we're just waiting for my dad to join us. So yeah, but we're at the pub now. And then we'll be going home later. So and I'll be finished off the birthday. Got some food in the day. So I'll check them in here in a bit. Cheers! Hello everyone, it's 10.30 at night. Sorry I haven't really filmed much since like mid-afternoon but we didn't really do a lot, we just stayed at the pub for a bit. And the boys were actually quite well behaved and walked home and then they played for a little bit and then they were both really tired so they went to bed. Uh, Stuart and I have had a Chinese for tea. Didn't bother to show any of that because you know what takeaway Chinese looks like. And I've just finished decorating Daniel's birthday cake which I will show you tomorrow once it's all dried and set. So I didn't glaze the gammon in the end that I intended to do tonight. I'll do it in the morning when it's all cooked and ready to go. So we just got to get up in the morning and for all sense and purposes it's Daniel's birthday tomorrow. Although it's not actually until Wednesday. But Wednesday is a normal boring day so we're going to do it tomorrow and we've wrapped up his presents tonight. So he'll have them in the morning. And then we've got people coming around tomorrow afternoon so I'm going to be busy in the morning tidying up the house and getting the food ready for that. So I'm going to sign off now and go off and have a bath and go get some sleep, so night night. See you in the morning. Good morning folks, today is Sunday, it is Daniel's birthday and I'm just going to finish glazing off the gammon now. And then I'm going to put the pork in for lunch in a bit after we've opened his presents because though today actually isn't Daniel's birthday, for all purposes we're pretending it is. Been in the slow cooker for four hours yesterday. The seat's in front of Daniel's cake which I'll show you properly later. And what I'm going to do now is a char siu glazed gammon, so it's sort of like Chinese barbecue style. So over here I've got soy sauce, oyster sauce, brown sugar, a bit of fire spice and a bit of garlic and ginger puree all mixed together. Now I will be putting this recipe on the blog, so don't worry too much about it. And I'm just going to put that on the gammon now and glaze it and then let it cool. So then I can photograph it later for the blog recipe and then we can eat it. Yeah, and then I'm just going to roast the pork in the oven as you would do normally. So I'll be back again in a bit. I forgot to mention that I am using a four tray for this that I had left over from Christmas. It's just because this does get very, very messy and very, very sticky. So it cuts down on the washing up. And as I've got a broken dishwasher at the moment, anything that cuts down on the washing up is very, very good. It's now half past twelve-ish. I'm still in my pyjamas. I've been tidying up the kitchen and cooking the food and stuff. And cleaning our dining room table so we can actually eat on it later. And uh, just to show you that the vlogging work never stops even though it is my son's birthday party. I'm currently taking photos of his birthday cake, which is here. So that's a little look at my setup. We're right by my patio windows. And over here is my reflector. So, and that there is his birthday cake. So yeah, the trains I obviously didn't make, but if you just take them off look, you can get the full effect of the cake with the tracks and stuff, and this is a sort of very simple idea based on what I saw on Pinterest. So there will be a full tutorial how to put it on the blog very soon. So yeah. Now to photograph a couple of other things, including my charts for gammon and some scones that I made the other day for another blog post while I've got it all set up. So yeah, and then I might be finally be able to get dressed and I've got to make the stuff in to give it to pork as well for our sandwiches. Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday to you. Hold on. Happy birthday, dear Daniel. Happy birthday to you. Folks, it's ten past eight on Sunday night. The boys are in bed. The Stuart's upstairs playing with their new Amazon Fire TV stick, which I didn't even know but been purchased. But yeah, he's setting that up in our in our bedroom TV. So uh, I didn't really feel much after the party and the candles blown out because all we'd really do was play with the toys and watch the football. Villa versus Spurs. Spurs won. My dad was very happy. Stuart wasn't so happy. So yeah, this is sort of what we do at the weekend, so this was a bit of a special weekend, but you get the idea, so. So this is my first weekend vlog, so I'm not sure how long it's going to be because I haven't put all the clips together yet, so if you have made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please comment wine at the bottom if you have made it this far, just so I know, because I'm actually drinking some now. So thank you very much for watching, and... Uh, I hope you like our first video on our new, new YouTube channel. I will be back with uh, another weekend vlog and sort of days in the life and I will also do a few haul videos and that soon too. So thank you very much for watching. Please pop over and visit the new blog as well if you can. And I will see you again soon. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.